setting this in like that. You're sliding that down through there. Hopefully nothing bad happens. What could, could push this, this could push it down in and not be split inside. Of it. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing ever goes wrong when you're working on a house. Do you believe that? <laughs> so you're going to hold the red. I'm going to do my best to not let it go down the pipe. I'm getting ready to grab it wherever it comes through. Through it now or? Well, if I've been dreaming. Hold, you hold on to it somehow. Put it. Put your hands on two sides of it. Honey, I, I can't. You can't? No, oh, there's boards on the other side. Can't you come up and do that? No, part? no. No, I want you to make sure it doesn't fall down on that side. Your wife is so good. Okay, you're pushing it down in now? Oh yeah. Okay. Can you tell the can you see the red? The red's almost gone. You, uh, are you down as far as you can go? I am. A lot of the red is down. So it's making a seal. Oh yeah, I could feel it. I pulled it up to the bottom of it. Okay. As I did it. Okay. Thought we'd bring you up to date on our bathroom laundry room workout uh, fix up. We um, have put insulation in here. We went with what's called XPS, two inch thick. Um, it's a uh, pink, the pink guy. Owens Corning. Um, it has an R value of 10 and then we're putting another piece that goes over that that's three quarters of an inch and it will cover up the entire wall in front of the boards leaving an air gap so that increases it to another four or five um, our value making it taking it up to 14 or 15 which is what we were told it needed to be on the outside um, he is putting a stud in right now to because they didn't have their corners done <laughs> because it's all raw cuts and it's um, you know they did what they had at the time and so this is our our home now and so we get to do what we want to with it and Anyway, these are taken all the way back to the outside walls and um, we did so much research on insulation and this is what we came, sorry, sir, try to stay out of his way. This is what we finally came up with that we could afford and that wasn't toxic and um, it might have a little bit of toxic to it just because it's not a man-made material but um, it's not gobs of foam and all that kind of st spray stuff. We are having to use some of the, you know, the fill-in spray stuff in different little areas. Um, but before the day's over, we are hoping to have our hot water heater back in place, our toilet in, and hopefully our sink. The sink might be pushing it. We'll see. So. Right now what Jim is doing is he is putting tape on the ceiling and the floor where the studs are because we are putting a large sheet of foam across here that has reflection and the reflector is supposed to be on the outside when it's a wall and on the inside when it's a roof. So, so I'm marking the studs because once we put this sheet up we're not going to know where the studs are. And I've got to fasten the uh, bead, board. bead board into the studs. I gotta know where they are. So now I know where the top and bottom is, and I can easily hang a line that goes from one to the other and know where they are. And then we can fasten them right up. There you go. This is the next step. This is um, a three quarter inch styrofoam with a plastic back and the foil here and the foil is supposed to be on the inside when it's on a wall to keep the 
heat from coming in and the cold from coming in. It also um, has an airspace back behind it and if it has an airspace behind it then you can see that it turns into 5.69 um, R value making this about 15 or a little more than 15 R value on the wall. We're doing the on this wall and we will do it on this wall because those are our two outside walls. Right now Jim is cutting the beadboard to fit up there and I haven't decided if I'm painting it yet but we chose to do beadboard. Another advice that we got because we wanted to do boards and doing boards allows um, anywhere there's a um, gap or a joint it allows air to come in and so we chose to do the full sheet of beadboard so that we don't have as many places for air to come in. This particular room is vitally important that it stay insulated well because it is the room that has all the plumbing in it and it is the room in the past that has frozen. So we are taking every precaution that we can to make it okay. At a later time we plan to take off the siding, put additional outside insulation on and new siding on. Slow but steady progress. You notice we have two wall panels up. It's a good start. Hot water heater is in, hooked up heating up water, warm showers tonight, which is good. We missed that yesterday. Uh, we started this part of the project knowing we'd be without hot water for a while and uh, true, right. to, true to form, we ran into lots of twists and turns. <laughs> Austin came over today to help us finish this part of it up, which is great. Yay, Austin! We appreciate that because we had to help <laughs> this guy around and it, we, we pushed him on that. But um, tomorrow? Toilet goes the in toilet. tomorrow. That's one thing we haven't had in here is an operating toilet. So we're excited to have that. We'll have will now be a two, well it's a bath and a half, right? Bath and three quarter that we're gonna have, which is great. Half. It's half? It's half. It's three quarter as a shower. It's shower. Okay, bath and a half. I, I ought to know that. So we're we're excited. It's going well from here. It's gonna be easier. This was the hard part, working around this and all of the we keep saying that. From now, it's going to be easier. <laughs> I haven't been. I haven't been. Uh, we've well, I said it after the kitchen floor. <laughs> well, at this point, I'm not anticipating any more big surprises. Fingers crossed on that. So we ought to be able to just work it through instead of solving problems along the way. So we'll do the rest of the wall next another day yes